know what up? This KC, the Red Pill Alpha, back at you fellas again with this motherfucking heat. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin to the back of her motherfucking neck. Holding her down, submerging her down up on the water with this game. You already know, she gonna get it. Keep your foot on the back of her shit, man. She need to hear this shit. Please like, the thumbs up, share, subscribe, share it, subscribe, hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with this shit, piping hot status, you got it. Into your phone, to your ear, all ear candy game. You got any comments? <clears throat> Get at me at my Gmail, railsfargo12 at gmail.com. That's R E L L S F A R G O 1 2 at gmail.com. Or just get me at YouTube. I'm all ears. <clears throat> Excuse me. Doing a whole lot of working out. Dehydrated. Trying to push this shit back into me. So my throat get a little bit of harsh, a little dry. Bear with me. <clears throat> She's not sorry for cheating on you. She's only sorry because she got caught. Let's talk about it. And this is kind of the follow-up to, uh, damn, you call her cheating, huh? <laughs> <clears throat> A little follow-up. You catch your woman cheating. I've been through this. I got experiences on this. She come with every excuse on why she did this shit she did. Besides what she did. She throw it up in your face. It's you. If you wouldn't have got this for me. If you wouldn't have done this for me. If you wouldn't have been argumentative. If you wouldn't have been so. You know. If you wouldn't have been trying to fight so much. In our arguments. Or if we. Go through so much. With one another. You push me away from you. You push me out of your life. You push me into the arms of another man. You accuse me of things that I don't have no recollection of. I ain't did nothing. You accuse me of a lot of things. You accuse me of flirting at my job. You accuse me of getting, you know, of being so friendly with the coworkers, <clears throat> being so friendly at the grocery store, being so friendly at the gas station, blah, 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 blah. You hear all this shit instead of her taking accountability for what she did. And you gonna hear all that shit instead of her <clears throat> actually taking accountability for what she did. Let's just face it. Women don't like to own up to shit. But they die going head over heels pushing you to own up to your shit. But they not gonna own up to theirs. So she do all this pandemonious type shit. You know, she's she go overboard on why she got caught cheating when she simply just felt for another guy. She fell for another guy. She felt that other guy while she was with you. He kind of came in. Oh, but, yo, trust me, best believe. She's been eyeing him. She's been liking him. She's always had him in position of Smash. Soon as shit go bad with you guys. He's always been there. Don't never think for one second that she just met him. Women don't operate like that. They got their shit lined up. Unless she just a permissionless nympho type hoe or whatever. You run around banging whoever she like. That's not happening. That's not. It's there. You know, I've, I've dealt with permissionless women. <clears throat> but them women kind of. Got something missing up there in the head. You know, some screw kind of loose or something. They are out there. They do exist. However, that's not your woman. Your woman been having this dude in the corner the whole time. Ear candy. He's been giving it to her. She's been sneaking off to talk to him. She's been sneaking off to go on little dates. Meeting up with him at bars and shit. Having a little drink after work. She's been dealing with this dude. While you off chilling with the homies. You could be off with the kids at the house, you know. Working out, shooting a little ball, could be at work, could have took a business trip. Ain't no telling what you had going. This guy always been there. 
So instead of her just taking accountability, she puts everything on you. You the reason why she did all this. I'm so sorry for doing this to you, but you made me do this. <clears throat> Knowing goddamn well, if she wouldn't have never got caught, she'd keep doing it. She would keep continuous on fucking with that dude. And she still is fucking with that dude. She's just not doing it right then and there because she got caught. She want to save face. She want to save her marriage. In some cases, save her relationship. She don't want her baby daddy to run off. <clears throat> Whatever your title is to her, she's trying to save that. She don't want things to just break loose and fall to pieces because he's not guaranteed. He's just a fling. He's just fun. He's just there because she needed that fucking itch. I mean, that scratch. Her shit was itching. She, you know, she needed someone to scratch. That's all it is. So she don't want to break up and lose everything that you bought to her. She don't want to lose all that. But what she failed to realize that if you guys are not married or you guys don't have no kind of soul ties, like, you know, children or some kind of bond, then she lost all that, especially if you're the man that stand forward and you stand on your shit. She lost all that. You ain't great to take no bitch back that monkey branched on you. Not no real man. Because you know her mother, you, you know her secrets. You know what she's about. You know um her capabilities. You know what she's capable of doing. She's capable of stepping out on you. She's capable of breaking your heart. She's capable of being deceitful. She's capable, capable of not giving a fuck about you. You know that. Some of you guys have took this bitch back after she done did that shit. What did you do? I don't know. You might marry your woman again. I've been through that. My experience is I, take, I took a couple of them back like that. And I smashed them. And I dashed on them. That's it. You're going to have to pay back the shit that you did to me. I can't trust you. Why should I keep you in my rotation of women when I can't trust you? Even though I may not trust the rest of those women that's in my rotation, but shit. They'd be more of a perfect candidate than trusting you. You know, you showed me too much. You showed me too much. You showed me that I can never make you my woman again. You showed me that everything that I brought to you and I've done for you was a motherfucking lie. This relationship was built off a motherfucking lie. Especially after you witnessed that shit and you caught that shit. Yeah, you chalk up the money you gave her. You chalk up everything that you gave her. You know, it's a loss. It's gone. You know, she's wearing her bag. She's wearing her purses. She's wearing her coat shoes. You know, some of you fellas will put her in a new whip. Some of you fellas will put these bitches in houses. Put them in position to run your company, run your business. And this is for my corporate man, my man that's um, business orientated. <clears throat> so you chalk all that shit up. You let it go. <clears throat> That's what real men do. You kick rocks, bitch. You got to go. That's what you do. You chalk it up. You let her ass go. Why keep a person around that you know that's going to do you like that? Okay, the pussy might be fire. The cat might be on point. Or the asshole, whatever you into, might be 100. You know, whatever you into, whatever, whatever she bought forth to steal your attention, to snatch your motherfucking soul and kidnap it. Is what got you around, what's got you standing around. You break those soul ties. Then what? Once you lock it into your mind that you know this relationship was a lie from the beginning, was built on a lie. I'm being dumbfounded by pursuing a motherfucker that's impossible. You think it's she's possible in your mind, but really she's impossible, bro. She's not a real person. She's fake, you know, she facaded you the whole time. She's crying on your shoulders. She dropped to her knees. She's crying. What can I do? How can I save this? How can I do this, do that, do this, do that, you know? But at the same time, she's in her back of her mind. She's wondering, damn, is this working? If I, if I can get this off, do this work? If I can, um, 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 you know, um, if I can cry, does it work? If I can go out and buy him a lot of shoes, you know, buy him a new car. I'm, you know, some clothes and do this, do that, do this, do that. Will it work? Because I'm going to go do it again. Especially if he take me back. If he show me these weak and take me back. After I done got through niggas shit slurping on a slong like it ain't shit. 
I just got through taking the motherfucking slong up in me. I mean, motherfucker just rearranged my whole insides like it ain't shit. He just pounded me out. And he caught that. He know me and this dude had something going. Will he take me back? Unfortunately, a lot of you fellas have taken him back. A lot of you fellas will take her back. We already spoke about that for the sake of not to get to know no one else and all that shit. But the main reason why you fellas will take her back, let's talk about it. Because don't nobody want your ass. You ain't got no options, man. You ain't did what you're supposed to do to self-improve. To show her that, bitch, this is your loss. You fucked up. You lost me. So when you ain't doing nothing to self-improve, to show her that it's her fucking loss, she lost you, she fucked up by losing you, then she feels she already got you. And you're not going nowhere. She's going to cuddle up with you for another couple months. You're going to forget all about it. You're going to take a couple trips. You're going to get with the family, get with the kids. Everything's going to be cool. You know, read the kids' bedtime story. She's back on her normal little path where she was before she jumped off that, you know, before she jumped off them train tracks and jump and venture off to fuck with this dude or to whoever else. She's back on, on his tracks. She's trying to get back right with you. She, she wants this family to go in the right direction. But at the same time, in the back of her mind, she's like, this is motherfucking crazy. I'm going to have my options. DM still popping. Social media still popping. She ain't lost nothing, man. You thought she put all that to the side for the sake of you guys because she begged and pleaded to you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have never did that. I fucked up. So you feel that you made it. And then now you, you know, now you looking, you wearing the, now you wearing the, um, you wearing the guilt hat now. You over here, damn. I shouldn't have never went that hard on my woman. I pushed my woman to another man. I should have only loved her like I'm supposed to. I should have only did this. I should have only did that. Come the fuck on, man. You did everything you had to do, man. When it's a time for a bitch to be a hoe, she gonna be a hoe. I, that's my opinion. I don't think it takes nothing to trigger a woman to get out there and fuck with another man. I think, I think all it takes is her wanting to have something different at that time. And once she gets something different at that time, then she's going to get up on that. <laughs> and ain't nothing you can do about it, bro. And shit you can do about it. The guy in the gym asked me today, what's the solution to all of this shit? What's, how are we going to fix this with these women? How, I know the messages out there from various different channels, but how are we going to fix this with these women? Real simple. Keep pushing the motherfucking message. All you fellas, keep listening to the motherfucking message. The youngsters, gravitate to the motherfucking message. That's the solution. And we can stop all this monogamous bullshit when you know it's not beneficial to you. It's only beneficial for her. Ain't nothing beneficial to you, man. I mean, what's, what's for you? You gonna die 60, 70, something any motherfucking way? You wanna live? You wanna push a long life? You want to be stress-free. You want to be happy. That's what keeps you going every day. Being stress-free and being happy. That's the whole structure to your being. Women tends to strip you from your happiness. Women tend to put a whole lot of stress on you. Especially as you grow older as a man. You ain't dealing with no child games. You ain't out here kicking it with your homies. You ain't out here shooting up shit, you ain't out here selling dope, you ain't doing nothing, you ain't doing nothing that can hinder your fucking life, it's this bitch taking you down through there, fucking with your health, it's this bitch doing that to you, bro, you seeing things you don't supposed to see, you witnessing infidelity type behavior, you know, within you guys' relationship in your 30s, in your 40s, in your 50s, come on, man, that shit's heartbreaking, Especially if you fell in love with her. If you loved her, you've been with her for too long, man. That could send a motherfucker to their grave early, man. Because you put your all into this chick. And she don't give a fuck about you. A dick is just a dick to her. It's another day in the office. That's how she's looking at it. You're looking at it like, man, this is a, you, you're supposed to be a lifetime with me or for me. 
she's not looking at you like that, man. You know, she's trying to look younger and younger every day. She's doing everything these younger chicks doing. This is for my fellas that's dealing with chicks in their 30s, 40s, 50s. You see it in them. They talking younger, you know, they period and all that. They, they speaking like these young ass bitches, you know. They, they trying to fit in with the younger crowd just because they face, because they hate to face the inevitable. And that's for us all. We all got to get older. We all got to mature someday. And a lot of these women hate to face the inevitable, man, because they know that time is against them, especially when they get older. So they will want to revert that time. Back to trying to be younger again, trying to fit in with the crowd. Lose flash, baby. You ain't them young chicks. You ain't nothing like them. Your skin don't feel like them. You don't look like them. You, you, you ain't nothing like, ain't nothing on you like a young chick. It's, it's not even, it's, it's very much impossible. I deal with young chicks. I deal with older chicks. There's no comparison at all. It's two different worlds. We got one that's coming up into the world. We got one that already been through the motherfucking world and she's trying to look back and go back when really she's hating on the young chick because she know the young chick got more of a chance to lock you down than she do. You know, but that's another video too. But check game, man. She's not sorry for cheating on you, bro. They would never be. If she was sorry for cheating on you, she would have never fucking did it. She's only sorry because she got caught. You blew up her game. She can't get this shit off on you like that. You're going to always think in the back of your mind, this bitch is a hoe. Especially if you're sleeping with her every night. Especially if you took her back. It's going to be in your mind. You're going to be fighting temptations, man. Or whether you want to kick her ass. Whether you want to kick rocks. You know, whether you, you, you want to do something. You're just angry in the moment. But you should have, everyone's entitled to their anger. You got every right to be pissed off. Look what she did, man. She went, and if you married, she went against the vows, man. And if it's your relationship and you're not married to her, she went against the relationship, man. She jeopardized. And if it's your baby mama, she definitely put you in jeopardy. And them kids in jeopardy, man. You know, I'm being put out there as a motherfucking hoe and being put out there for the streets, making you look bad, making your kids look bad, man. Making your family look, making your mama and daddy and friends and co everybody that you fucking that you know, looking at you sideways, like, man, you a simp, you a sucker, you dealing with this bitch, because you done ran around telling everybody, you know, you, you ran your mouth to everybody, we know that, you know how that go, you don't want somebody to pat you on your back and shit, tell you it's gonna be all right, I get it, but that's not cool either, however, you encounter shit like this, man, if you do take her back, take her back only on the one accordance, Get what you got to get off on that bitch and kick her loose. Don't let her kick you loose. You kick her loose before she ever think about trying to do that to you. Because she's vulnerable. She wants to be in your presence. She's She wants to make things up to you at that time. She's not sorry. But she do want to make things up to you so you will never leave her and not fuck with her again. So you get what you get out of her. Watch her vulnerabilities in state and she may not have another dude that she can run to. Get what you get out of her. Ditch her. Let her go through your shit. Let her feel your pain. Get, bitch, get off. It's a way to get her. Or you can just simply not fuck with her no more. This is your loss. And either she gonna be the better motherfucker for the next man because what she did to you, a good man, she done a good man wrong, she either gonna be the better motherfucker for the next man, or she just ain't gonna learn her lesson, period. She gonna go out the way she go out. It shouldn't make you none. You don't fuck with her no more. She's not yours. Cut her the fuck off. Bitches doing that shit, bro, got no goddamn respect. And sometimes, man, these women don't be, these women don't be having no attentions on getting caught. But they shady ass ways. Got you suspicious on what she's doing. Got you, got your antennas up. I can't trust this bitch. So now you out looking to catch something. And then you catch something. Mm, mm, mm. That's really devastating to her. That's really like committing suicide. She might as well fuck. I fucked up. A lot of a lot of people will go through that type of shit, man. Especially if they know they fucked up with a good person. 
These women know they they know they fuck up with good people, just like you, fella. You know you, you fellas, my fellas. You know you fucked up with a good ass woman. We all have fucked up with a good woman at some point in our life. I believe so. I know I have. I fucked up with plenty of them. So what makes you think she's not feeling the same way when she fucked up with you? By fucking over you. Oh, and some of you fellas are caught, caught her, man, fucking with somebody you know. Either directly or indirectly, you know this person. Woo! Now, he know how your woman's insides feel, pimp, her throat and everything. He know how all that feel. He know what you've been sitting back. Oh, man, it's a heat. He know what you've been feeling. So in the back of his mind, nigga, I got it too. <laughs> Yeah, it goes down, bro. I know what goes on. And it make you want to just mother. I know it makes you want to get down like that, man. Hold your feelings. Real men don't act like that. Real men watch that bitch fall and burn for the shit that she's done. Trust me, as them years go on, as she get older, no one's seeking to take her serious. She's going to look back and she's going to regret every fucking thing she did to you. Especially if you was a good man. So let that bitch fall by the wayside. Let it burn. This is the motherfucking message, man. I know how these chicks operate, man. I know they operate. You know, some of these chicks will get caught. Play victim so motherfucking hard. They'll put off a whole... They'll put on a whole motherfucking front. You know, like... I mean, it's, it's so crazy, so weird. How these women do not take accountability for the shit that they do. It's the message, man. Push it. Share this shit. Holla.